Hey, back at Adelaide Oval. With 800 goals and 282 games to his credit, I'm joined now by Matthew Richardson. Hi, right, Dennis. Always a pleasure to call a game with you. Today's match between Port Adelaide and Adelaide. The batters look great as the players get set to run through them. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. Port Adelaide winning the toss. Round eight. Both these teams coming off losses. This is a clash that makes King Kong versus Godzilla look like a chimpanzee's tea party. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. And away we go, the opening bounce. One down by Jacobs. He's got the footy in his hands. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Kelly with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He soccers it. Picked up the ball. Broadbent taps. Tapped by Hardigan. O'Brien handball short. Gathered by Pollock. McKenzie gets the hand pass. Handballs from the tackle. Jams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 30 meters from home. A 30 degree kick for Dixon. Gets the distance. Port Adelaide score first. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. First hand's important. Rockliffe controls. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Walker. Wines with no time to delay with that kick. Laird tries his luck along the ground. Good tap from Malira. Wines gets the tap. The loose ball picked up by Bebert. Rockliffe feeds it wide. Need with the mark. Chip kick along the wing. He takes an uncontested mark. Picks it across the ground. Takes that one strongly. Jacobs can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Polet has a kick. It's going straight into the woodwork. I reckon he's a little bit unlucky there. The power have the advantage on the scoreboard over Adelaide. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Takes that one strongly. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. Pittard did well then. But Adelaide couldn't have asked for a much better start than this one. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Good bounce. Jacobs aims for his man on the ground. Jonas with a big tackle that spills the ball loose. Guided down nicely by Rockcliffe. Hartlett on the ball at the moment. Quick hands find the running player. Sends the ball to open space. What passes to no one in particular. Gets boot to high. Pittard looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. 40 metres out. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Strong mark. Adelaide just can't buy a mark out there. They need to start looking for some easier options when moving forward and try and get some marks inside Ford 50. Otten kicks it. Strong mark there. 25 metres out. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. The Crows in trouble. They need to get a move on. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Jacobs outstretches his opponent to win the right. Rockliffe kicks it. Soccer kick. A short handball. Marshall was taken high. Gets boot to leather. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Thomas may not be the first guy you'd follow in the battle, 
but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Jacobs, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. Hardigan kicks it. Watts with great hands. A lovely drop pass. Walker marks. A lovely drop pass. Takes that one strongly. 50 metres from home. A 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Greenwood. 35 metres out. Gee, you wouldn't like to miss from here. Walker shoots it, slots it. Adelaide with their first goal on the board. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Jacobs with a big fist on it, is in his possession. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alleyway. The loose ball picked out. Jenkins has his head down now. Kicks. Kicked in a flurry. Not what he intended with that kick. Great mark under pressure. McKenzie with the kick. Hands like dinner plates. Sloan is a Rolls Royce of a player who has the ability to read the play like no other. Puts boot to ball. He takes the contested mark. Brown slams the ball to his boot. Laird with great hands. He gets boot to the ball. Dixon marks it. Bumps the big skin. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Chip kick along the wing. Soccer kick. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Brown. He's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Rockcliffe slams the ball to his boot. Powell Pepper kicks it. Thomas with the mark. Sending it on its way. There's no contest for that mark. Knee kicks the ball. He takes the contested mark. 45 metres out. A set shot on a 45 degree angle for Collin. He's ran that one into the woodwork. The power with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 20 to 6. Otten assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. 35 metres out. Good hard to kick on a 30 degree angle. It's certainly not the easiest of shots, that's for sure. The power by 20 points. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Jacobs directs it down. Handballs from the tackle. Anything that goes that far needs a stewardess. Nice mark there. Well, when the power for able to mark the ball inside their Ford 50 so easily, it's no wonder they're leading this match. Adelaide really need to turn up the pressure. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. O'Brien gets possession. Not long before the end of this quarter. He claims the ball. Jenkins with the kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kicks it across the ground. Rockliffe takes it well. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with the power on 10. And the first break is finished and play is set to commence. If you can believe it, the mind can achieve it. Ball up in the centre square. Jacobs with the tap. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. He has no trouble grabbing that one. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato, quickly disposed of by a crouch. Great mark under pressure. The Crows just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. He kicks the ball. Gibbs with real good use of the body. He kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Gets boot to leather. Walker marks it. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Goal to Adelaide, that's his second. Big trouble for the Crows, they need to kick a few now. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Jacobs nicely outclassing Marshall. Smith with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. The ball spills to Tumpus. He gets the hand pass. Kicks it. Gathers the ball, short handball from Broadbent, picked up by Marshall. 
Batted down nicely by Jacobs. Hiddard guides it. Bump by Bieber. Handballs from the tackle. Gets a handball away. He'll get a free for that tackle. Far too high. Going for goal number one. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Ebert getting his first to an Adelaide by 20 points. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Marshall. Timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Sockers the ball away. Sloan hand passes it. Pick up by Thomas. Thomas with the tap. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Clears now. Sloan has it. Sloan has just got an amazing sense of timing, which is why you regularly see him pulling down those absolute screamers that we all love. He kicks the ball. Rock lift with the ball. Sending it on its way. Smith takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Slips through his fingers. Jonas gets a favourable bounce. He intercepts the ball on the bounce. Now we'll get a ball up. Marshall, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. The ball is socket. O'Brien collects. A lot of possessions for him. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Adelaide midfielders are well and truly on top in this match. They're winning everything at the stoppages. You have to wonder what the rest of their team are doing. This midfield can't keep carrying the team all game. He knocks it down. Hardigan collects it. Brown collects it. What feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Need with the tap. Batted down nicely by Brown. Exclamation point. How about that? The ball mopped up. He handballs it. Good out hitting in. Watch his style. Tap by Atkins. Pollock going for number one. He's missed the goal. The power lead Adelaide by 21. Otten has a lovely kick on him. If he can utilise that in heavy traffic, he will become crucial to his team's finals ambitions. We'll get a throw in. A good hit out there. He taps the ball. Laird charges in with the bump. Hardigan with handball. Puts boot to ball. Jenkins claims the ball. Puts boot to ball. Walker with the mark. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. He's on a 30-degree angle. Walker slots the goal. Three goals so far. Well done. The Crows are on the ropes right now. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Powell Pepe with the ball. Talia gets bumped. He takes a strong mark. He kicks the ball. He takes the contested mark. He kicks the ball. Strong mark there. Ebert with the kick, Brown with the ball, he boots it, great hands. Carl Pepper boots it, Rockliffe wins the marking contest. Rockliffe has no problems mopping up the loose ball, mistakes are rare for him, gets the loose ball. Oh, it's in the book so we're going to have to deal with it, but it doesn't mean we have to like it. Pittard boots it, Atkins with a strong mark. A long kick there, Crouch claims the ball. Gets boot to leather. Nice work from Wines. Spears a low ball. Strong mark. Kicks. Takes that one strongly. Goes by hand. Tumpus in the back. Opportunity for Smith. 60 metres out. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. It goes through for a behind. Adelaide won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Burn Jones. Gets set to kick it back in. Kicks. Great mark under pressure. Keeps it close to the ground. Walker has it. He steadies now in front of goal. 45 metres out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. That's a very well executed goal. The Crows trailing by less than two goals. Walker is a thumping kick of the footy. He can kick it out of view if he wanted. Tapped by Jacobs. Guided by Jonas. Kicks. Good tap from Bieber. He collects the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Laird bumps. Smith swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Choose to kick it. Takes control of the ball. Jonas gets the tap. Jenkins taken high and he'll get the free kick. The second term is just about to wrap up. Looks like he panicked there. Couldn't complete the mark. Tap by Smith. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Hartlett puts it on the boot. 
He takes control of the loose ball. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players perform. You can have the best stats in the world, but if you cannot... Finally, the third term begins. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Jonas is streaming past and gets the footy. The ball mopped up. Down goes Marshall. Opportunity for Marshall. Stabs the ball. A great effort. Hardigan sends the ball on its way. He gets another possession. Rockliffe gets the tap. McKenzie collects. The spilled ball is collected. He gains possession. He's got the football now. He picked it up off the ground. He gains possession. He's got the football now. Guided by Brown. Grabs the footy. Taliak with a short hand pass. Otten boots it. Jenkins claims the ball. That kick has covered a very long distance. With the power, big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the, the power scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Puts boot to ball. He marks the ball. Rockliffe kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. He kicks the ball. Thomas with good strong hands. A low stabbing kick. Nice mark there. Works it across the ground. Off hands. Whack. Have that, mate. He hand passes the ball. A lovely drop pass. Gibbs may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Lining it up with the goal now. Walker shoots for goal. Misses for a behind. The Crows trail. Burn Jones waiting for the man to free up. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 30 metres out. Gibbs with quite a challenge in front of him. The ball is hammered towards goal by Gibbs. That's three in a row for the Crows. The lead is easily in reach for Adelaide. And there's the bounce. Good fist. Sloan gets the ball. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. A big kick by Jacobs. Greenwood with the mighty fist. Ebert comes away with the ball. Intercept by Smith. With the ball now. Probing kick inside the 50. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 30 metres out. Could be a game-changing kick from McGovern. On top is the Crows. McGovern is good on both left and right. So kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. Marshall without a touch. The clearance by Jacobs. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Manages to get a hand to it. Need approaching home now. The ball is hammered towards goal by Need. Seedsman gathers it. Gathers the ball. Clean tap by Hardigan. Pollock not phased by the pressure. Gets his kick away. The power are back in the lead again. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Tapped by Marshall. Pollock a good crummer. Dishes it off to the running player. Soccer kick. Thomas keeps it alive with the foot. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Umpire not having a bar of that and signalling for a ball up. Dixon directs it down. With the ball now. He handballs it. He gives the ball away. The ball in the hands of Thomas. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. McKenzie will have to put everything into this one. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. Pollock drives the ball towards goal. Perfect kick. A second goal in the bag. But Adelaide could score the last two goals. Port Adelaide by seven points. Motlock just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Dixon gets the goal from a long way out. Port Adelaide could score the last three goals. The power by 13. Look at that bounce. Dixon guides it. Tapped by Marshall. The loose ball scooped up. A short handball. Need going for number one. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. The power by 19. The power for taking their time and looking for the safe marking option in the forward line. Most of their goal production is coming from set shots and it's paying off for them. Picked by O'Brien. Nice mark there. Talia slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Picks it across the ground. 
Rockliffe was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Gets boot to high. Marked by Broadbent. The power for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the tank? Pittard kicks it. Dixon with a strong mark. Dixon lets fly with a shot at goal. Good Adelaide and run to their tally. This one gives them an even bigger lead. The power in front. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Dixon punches. Tapped by Marshall. O'Brien with the tap. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Brown manages to get the handball out of the pack. Handballs to the running man. Choose to kick it. Smith got under it. That came off the boot with huge power. Strong mark by Burn Jones. Burn Jones is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Laird kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. Walker goes for home. Walker puts it through. The Crows need a score here. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce, laser straight. Dixon with the hit. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. Ebert has the ball. Ebert with a kick at goal. Ebert, ambitious kick. I can't believe it. It's a goal. The power with the ascendancy over the Crows. Leading the match 69 to 44. There's the bounce. O'Brien didn't even get close to that tap. He gets his hands on the footy just in time with that kick. Clean tap by Pitta. Sloan onto the ball. He's got the footy in his hands. Laird takes the mark. Look, the Crows haven't been able to set up many shots of goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to keep a winning total that way. Strong mark there. Sending it on its way. Good mark. Sending it on its way. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the players perform. The power with 84 kicks and Adelaide. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. You and your opponent want the same thing. The only thing that matters is who works the hardest for it. Sloan with a kick as he gets pulled down by Greenwood. Takes possession. Walker going for number six. Walker with a great kick. Number six. The fans are certainly getting their money's worth. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce. Claimed by Marshall. Batted down nicely by Pollock. Smith with the tap. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Rockliffe. Even on the ground. I don't think he'll be coming back out. That was nasty stuff. Just in time with that kick. Bumps the pigskin. Marked by Motlock. 30 metres out. Going for goal number one. Perfect kick. The power with the ascendancy over the Crows, leading the match 75 to 50. Motlock can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Rockliffe is streaming past and gets the footy. Good tap from Smith. Boked being penalised there. Bumps the pigskin. Nice contested mark by Walker. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. It's going. Walker scoring from a long bomb. That's number seven. Adelaide has still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams play more leads than Inspector Clouseau. The bounce, laser straight. Jacobs outstretches his opponent to win the right. Guided by Sloan. Chips it down towards half forward. Strong mark. The dominance we're seeing from Kapowak at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. Laird marks it. He boots it. Strong mark there. This will certainly test him from this distance. Smith lets fly with a shot at goal. Hartlett with the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Guided by Greenwood. Tumpus with the football. He has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. McGovern decisively. Puts boot to ball. A good mark under the circumstances. 45 metres out. Greenwood going for number one. 
Hartland with the mighty fist. He sockers it. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Marshall, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Laird pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. Send the top in, big fella. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Jacobs aims for his man on the ground. Crouch sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Lobs the pass, picked by Sloan. A good mark under the circumstances. 45 metres out. Walker likes his chances for goal. Goal! They've lifted their intensity. Walker may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Jacobs, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Thomas slams it on the boot. Good tap from Nee. Batted down nicely by Pittard. Deft touch from Bayman. The loose ball picked up. Pittard takes aim for goals. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. The power by 14. Otten assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Need taps. Well, he's given that to up an almighty thumb. Great mark. The Crows just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. He kicks it long. Amon with the mark. Amon shoots for goal. Hardigan with the ball. Gets boot to high. Amazing specky by Broadbent. Choose to kick it. Batted down nicely by Blair. Kept alive under pressure. Crouch taps. Batted down nicely by McKenzie. Laird just got really good closing speed. It's real hard to get a break on him. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. He gets a fist to it. Smith takes possession. Millerak onto the ball. Boak gets it off the ground. Wines puts his boot on it. Smith with good strong hands. He boots it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Crouch slams the ball to his boot. Picked by Boak. A solid mark from Wood there. Bumps the big skin. The ball is hammered towards goal by Broadbent. Hits the running man. Handballs from the tackle. He gets his hands on the footy, finding the running player. Atkins taps. Whack. Have that mate. Tap by Watts. The bouncing ball is controlled. Finding the running player. No good tackling him there, mate. There's nothing to damage. High tackle. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Chips it down towards half forward. Strong mark. Laird, it's just a phenomenal mark. If I ever saw him drop one, I'll eat my hat. Gibbs shoots for goal. Greenwood gets the ball. Walker shoots for goal. He just wants some attention. Jonas rushed it over for a point. Burn Jones to bring it in. Plays onto himself. Boots it. Tumpus presents and takes the mark. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. The ball is thumped towards goal by Malira. Well, oh, he's given that to up an almighty thump, and the mark will be paid. Well, Adelaide certainly deserving of that win. Now that it's all over, how did you see that game, Richo? A very good performance. A few standout players helped them over the line in the end. Thank you very much, Richo. The final result, the Pilot 76, took the Crows 63. It's all said and done, it's real and it's been fun.